Hi guys, welcome back to Otter's RC Garage and uh, welcome back to the garage. Today we're going to be talking about the front wheel drive car, uh, some improvements we're going to make and uh, different things I found out doing some research. Uh, then at the end of the video, uh, we're going to, after making a few changes, we're going to take it over to a flatter road and try and get a higher top speed on 3S still. So looking through and doing some research on this uh, top speed record, uh, what I have found uh, so far, uh, the only record that I could find or anybody mentioning a record for a front wheel drive car um, is uh, Ramus, which Romulus, which I'm probably saying this wrong, Romulus 22 uh, with a GT top speed car, front wheel drive. Uh, he was able to get on a GPS 77.4. Now reading further on with that, uh, he said that he did do another run, uh, which uh, he was having some stability issues in the one place. So he went to a smoother spot and did a uh, another run, and he said he was pretty sure he got well over that 77.4. But as far as the GPS speed, 77.4 is the only number physically that I've been able to find for this front wheel drive record. But I'm going to aim for 80. I feel like if we can get to 80 with our car, we're going to be doing really good. We gotta get our traction down for one, and right now at 30 miles per hour, this thing is pretty much uncontrollable. So, like I said, I did go along and get some oil-filled shocks. The next thing I got to help us get a little bit more speed out of this car on 3S, this is a 24 tooth pinion. I'm gonna go ahead today, we're gonna get both the shocks, we're gonna get the gear mounted on this, and we're gonna get this thing ready to go. Keen eyes are going to notice there is some difference to this car. Uh, I don't have the big tall post on it anymore. I thought that would help me in a rollover, keep the body sort of protected, and you know what, it got scuffed up anyways, and I think it sort of looked a little bit goofy. I am going to have to figure out a little better way to mount the GPS, but that leads to, I now have our little dovetail spoiler installed. So I think that looks pretty good. Um, and also, like I said, it's stiff enough. We should be able to should be able to mount our GPS unit on top of here and still have a good base to hold the GPS unit and do our runs. Few changes, few little things. Uh, if anybody has any comments, please put in the comments if you guys know of a higher front wheel drive top speed. Um, I would like to know what there is. I'm not 100% convinced yet that we're going to reach. 80 even with this car specifically but i want to see how fast we can get this car uh, it'd be cool to get this thing up into the 60s and maybe into the 70s but if we can get into the 80s with this and mo5 that would be pretty cool make sure you guys like subscribe and uh, let's get busy putting the parts on and we'll get you guys out there on the street and we'll see what speed we can get with the 24 tooth and 3s so can put you guys over top Put you guys in your favorite view. We're gonna speed run this, of course, and we'll get it all put on. Okay guys, so we got the uh, new shocks on as you can see over there and over there. 
Um, I wanted to show you guys this, what I meant by there's only three spots you can set this motor to. Let me see if I can get it to focus here. But, so you got those three holes basically. Uh, the one says 16 in the middle, which is what it's set to. Uh, the other hole there to the left says um, 20, which would be the biggest. And the hole to the right says 18, which would be right there in the middle. So, right now we have it set on the smallest one, as you can see with that 20 tooth. So, with the high speed gears, like I said, you got to sort of step up the teeth by four, of what it says. So, we're going to go ahead now. Now we got the sh shocks on. Um, I did end up putting the stiffer black springs on the front and the uh, little bit shot, a little medium for what we have, uh, springs on the rear. So, I can go softer on the rear, I can go harder on the rear. Um, the front though, I can only go softer from here from what I have. So, I'm going to get that 24 tooth pinion installed and uh, we'll be on the road here real soon. So, send you guys back up top. make some stuff fit so this 24 tooth gear is a bit bigger than that 20 tooth oh it's hard to see but yeah we're looking about that much of a difference so unfortunately the hole down inside the car so that hole down inside there it's too small for the gear to fit inside of that hole. Not sure why, seems a bit silly. They didn't make the hole just a bit bigger, especially since, you know, with these high-speed, I guess with these high-speed gears, they didn't plan on people putting these high-speed gears in, putting 24 tooth. So 20 tooth was the biggest they were anticipating. So maybe that's part of it, but, so we're gonna have to customize it a little bit. I'm gonna start ripping and shredding. I don't recommend anybody doing this, but, in the name of speed, we're going to make it bigger. I think the exact same ride height as what we were. Uh, the rear end might be a little bit higher. We can always uh, lower it down if we need to. So we got that 24 tooth installed. Car's nice and raked looking now. We got those oil filled shocks. Look at that. No more bounce. No more bounce. These things are poopy. Wish they didn't even send these in the kit. Sort of ruins the car. Let's hope root for. 40s. What do you guys think? Think we can get 40s now? I think we can with 3S. See you guys there. And we are out here at our nice flat road. Uh, we have a bunch of cars driving by. So this is going to be a little hard to get a run. And also, I think. Uh, I think our plastic hubs might be done. 
I'm gonna still try and get a speed run, but yeah, there's a, a lot of play in both of those, shifting back and forth. Um, my guess is probably from a combination of those wrecks and just this car's not intended to go this fast. So it looks like already we got some aluminum knuckles that we need to order. So the front wheel drive, um, I think we're gonna need to get a ball diff and we're gonna need, or some sort of differential, tighten that diff up and some sort of knuckle because as soon as I get it to 30, it just darts right off the side. I tried turning the gyro off and everything. So to entertain you guys, instead of running the front wheel drive, we have the slash out and we're going to see how much abuse it can take. <laughs> So the bumper was destroyed in the first couple jumps, so we're going no bumper and some duct tapes holding the pins for the front control arm in and let's see what happens. Caught you right away. Yeah, like, is there, it, it was this. It was actually this. Uh -uh. Yeah, -uh. yeah. No, I it, just saw it hit. It here. went boom right here. Well, what? no, don't rip down my fence. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. That was the bottom. All right, we got some repairs for this. Go get, go grab my screw gun. We need to get the screw gun. Yeah, we'll be back. I'm trying to do a backflip for it. I'm just trying to bend this a little bit. Well, you're not going to bend it. It's wood. It bends. No, it's right. wood. It bends. It breaks. Oh, you're right. It's wood. And we've improved the ramp even more. Got a support piece in there even with one screw. So, let's see what we can do. So I think we've had enough. We didn't quite make it onto the roof, but we made it really, really close. Uh, I don't think we're done trying, but at this point, the biggest issue is that front bumper being missing. And I think we're having some electronic issues. Something happened and it turned the drag brake on. So, but make sure you guys like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week.